Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Calling BS again, y'all. Calling bullshit. The Jacksons of Atlanta. Mahogany put up a video yesterday, among other things that's been going on. And in this video, she talked about, uh, she put up uh, something on her Instagram uh, allowing people to ask her questions. Now, in the intro part of the video, she put um, a question. She read off the question about uh, living with the aftermath of losing the twin. How are you doing after losing your twin? She spoke it. So she said that because she wanted all of us to think that she was actually going to speak on this and answer this question. And yes, I know I, I I don't know if I fell for it, but I was like, I wonder if she really gonna uh discuss that. So I did watch it, whether I thought she was or not. I was like, I bet she's not going to, but I'm gonna watch it anyway, right? I'm sure she got a lot of views off of that. Do you think that Wayne talked about that? She didn't. She talked about everything but that. And I said Wanch is a figure of speech. Because she did not talk about it. You know, I know they say clickbaiting and things of this nature. Those are just things that YouTubers do. But I don't know. I, I, I'm conflicted about it. Yeah, you want to say and give people a suspenseful title and maybe a suspenseful enough intro that they do come and watch. But usually most people that do that at some point in their video, the information that they mentioned is still covered. And hers was not. And I just, I really think that's awful that she did and handled it in that manner. I really do. I do. It's not necessary to a lot of people. What's that saying? You ain't got a lot of kick it. This is my second time saying that. And you really don't. You don't have a lot of kick it, little mama. She's a very beautiful woman. She seems to be intelligent. To me, she looks like a very studious and good wife to her husband. The dynamics of their family is very cute, which is why all of us liked them in the first place. Because I watched them regularly before this drama uh, was initiated. I did. And, you know, why you want to come on here and say that you're a pastor and, and uh, you know, that you are a, a child of God on that level and then turn around and lie about losing a child is, is just, I don't understand it. I don't understand why and why y'all keep beating that horse. I guess the horse ain't dead yet, but y'all are beating the crap out of it until it die. And then the thing is, every time you do that, you piss more and more people off. Now, I mean, maybe you have enough people to still last beyond that. But the thing is, either y'all going to be a, a YouTube family, either Mahogany is going to be a mommy blogger, or y'all going to be a TV show. And to me, y'all need to make up y'all mind. Because if you guys move forward as a TV show, you're going to lose a lot of your people. Because they're going to know that you consistently lie. Um, some people might like pranks. I think they're stupid. You're a family channel. Just be a family channel. It's enough. With five kids, it's enough to go on that you don't have to do pranks. But if those videos get a lot of views, I guess, you know, that's why y'all folks do them. But as a family channel, I feel like y'all should be intelligent and intellectual enough to have enough content that you don't have to do that. But who knows, honey? Maybe they don't. Maybe I'm wrong. And it's possible. Maybe I'm just wrong. 
that this the best they can do, that they are getting their cues from other channels and they're just copying what's, what's over there. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever the case is, I call BS on y'all. I call BS on you, Mahogany, because you... Y'all shouldn't have did that. If you weren't going to talk about that crap, you shouldn't have even mentioned it. I mean, you're just proving that you know that you are basically what everyone is saying that you are. And you you are continuously trying to find a way to use that situation to uh, milk people. I mean, you already got five kids. Aren't they enough? Aren't they enough you know, raising them, loving on them and whatnot. Isn't that enough that you feel that would pull in enough views? Because if not, then you're just basically saying that your kids don't have star quality. And I mean, if that's how you feel, hey, do what you do. But I would never say that about my children. And another thing, um, a lot of people have made comments on my channel. So I'm just going to put the question out there. People are concerned that your four-year-olds aren't potty trained. Now, I don't know. I did see a video one day and it looks like uh, one of the babies had on maybe a pull up or something to that nature. And if that is the case, I mean, it's justified why he would be wearing that because maybe he's a little bit delayed because they say he's on the spectrum. Okay. Um, but the other baby, no, the uh, other baby, he's got the cutest little squeaky voice. Um, but it doesn't seem like he thinks on his own. Like you guys need to allow your kids to develop their own individual personalities. And for some reason, it does not seem like they are. That's the consensus of what people feel, especially. With that being said, uh, another concern people have put out is the other babies being well over one years old and not walking almost two. I'm hoping that's not the case. I do notice that they're not really walking. Do you guys only try to help them walk when you are on uh, videos? Is that what it is? Because you were trying to force him to walk. One of the kids. I hope that's not the case. And then y'all need a new uh, nanny. Because the nanny should be helping them in their developmental stages. She's spending all the time with them. I don't know. People are concerned about you guys because you are public figures and your children are being seen publicly. So when you open up and you are using the public videos to make money, yeah, you open yourself up for public scrutiny. And that's basically what's going on here. People are just questioning out of concern. They're not questioning because they... Uh, probably have an opinion of you personally they're just questioning out of concern for the children also the four-year-olds why aren't they in school you say you live in georgia they should be at least in somebody's pre-k program even if it's a private paid pre-k they should be in somebody's pre-k now if you're cho choosing to homeschool that's that but um yeah Y'all, I'm calling BS. Mahogany, you was wrong for mentioning that, knowing you weren't finna talk about the shit. I mean, let's just keep it real shit. You knew you weren't finna talk about that because you weren't ready for that. Uh, you weren't ready for that doggone smoke them doggone folks was gonna give you. And you don't want people to think you lying because you still got some foolish, naive individuals out there that really think y'all was telling the truth. I know one or two of them been on my damn uh, comments. Y'all need to leave them alone and let them mourn in peace. They lost the baby. Honey, where they lost it at the store? Shit. I ain't lost I ain't lost no baby. Me and my family, we've been through that and I know how that feels. They ain't lost no child. I'm just being honest, they haven't. So that's what it is. I'm calling it like I see it. They have not lost a child according to the consensus of people. According to the hypotheses and the proof of the hypotheses that has been uh, laid out by countless individuals and countless channels. So I can only go by the proof that has been laid on the table. If they have something that they want to lay out, hey. But as of right now, it is what it is. 
And I call BS on y'all. Get y'all stuff together. Damn. Y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. We're going to pray for them. For real.